The upcoming 2021 Formula 1 rules has a lot of things that it wants to achieve. One of them being to attract new manufacturer teams to Formula 1. So because of that, in today's video we will look at the chances of some of these manufacturer teams actually coming into F1. So first off, let's start with Audi who have never entered F1. Mainly because F1 basically wasn't green enough. But after Formula 1 went hybrid in 2014, Audi's interest did get quite a lot bigger. And now they have a Formula E team. So I would definitely say that the chances of them entering F1 are definitely better than they were say 10 years ago. But I still do not think that Audi are actually going to enter F1. Because they've had so many chances to enter the sport and they still have not. So if they were going to I think they would have by now. It's a rumour that will never go away and it's a rumour that I don't think ultimately will ever be proven to be true. But what about Porsche coming back into F1 as a manufacturer like they did in the 1960s? And back then in quite a short amount of time they did actually do quite well. By picking up one race win, one pole position, five podiums and 50 points. But no driver driving for Porsche won a driver's title nor did Porsche win a constructor's title. Completing 34 races over 8 seasons. And back then they had the great American Dan Gurney driving that car. And even though they did not win championships or did not even contend for one, I still think they weren't that bad. And out of Audi and Porsche, I do think Porsche are a lot more likely to enter Formula 1. Because they already have been in Formula 1 before and I think they're a lot more interested. As it's been rumoured that they are involved in the talks for those 2021 rules. And if that is the case, then they're definitely very interested. Now I know this one might seem pointless, but I'm going to speculate anyway. Lamborghini. Now Lamborghini never had a works team, but did supply a couple teams from the late 80s through to the early 90s. But in that time they had no race wins, no pole positions, only one podium and 20 points. And of course Lamborghini did not win any titles in their time, completing 80 races over the course of 5 seasons. Now again I know this might be pointless but it's worth mentioning anyway. When Lamborghini were in F1 they were an absolute disaster. As the engines they were providing for Lotus and LaRousse were so so poor. And because of that embarrassing time, I do not think Lamborghini will ever be back in F1. But what about a return from BMW? Who I thought as a works team worked out very well. They had one race win, one pole position, 16 podiums and 308 points. And that's only over four seasons. But as a constructor, I do think they underachieved by not winning either a driver's or a constructor's title. As in 2008, they really should have won something. And we also must not forget their time as an engine supplier for Brabham in the 80s and Williams in the 2000s. Where they had plenty of race wins, plenty of pole positions and a couple of championships. So BMW has proven that it can be very successful within F1. And if they came back into F1, I think they would be successful again. Because even if they don't win world championships, they're still going to win races. But if I'm being honest, I do not think BMW will be back. One is because the company just isn't interested. And I also think they don't want to come back because of the embarrassment that was 2009. Midway through 2008, BMW gave up development on their car to concentrate on the new rules for 2009. And with the cars coming in in 2009, BMW were big proponents of it. But once they used it in 2009, their car was dead slow. So they got rid of the cars package on their car and actually improved. And trust me, that is very embarrassing. So when it comes to BMW, I just do not see it. Or what about the possibility of Toyota returning to F1? A team that, let's face it, was not very successful when they were in F1. Because they had no race wins, 3 pole positions, 13 podiums and 278 and a half points. And the disappointment for Toyota continued with no driver's titles or constructors. Completing 140 races over 8 seasons. And I still think for a company of Toyota's size, not winning a race in their time in F1 is still embarrassing. When it comes to motorsport, Toyota are massive. Just look at what they're doing in WEC right now, they are dominant in that series. So how they did not win a race between 2002 and 2009, I just don't know. Now no one is really talking about Toyota coming back into F1, but I don't think it's impossible. Because eventually, with their dominance in WEC, they are going to get bored. And are definitely going to seek a new challenge, and why not come back into F1? And for one, actually try and win a race, and maybe, who knows, win a world title. And then the last one is Aston Martin who currently are big partners with Red Bull. 
Now, when Aston Martin partnered with Red Bull, it was expected that Aston Martin would be coming into F1 very soon. But since Red Bull have partnered with Honda from 2019 onwards, that doesn't seem as likely. There is a possibility that Aston Martin could enter with Cosworth for 2021, but it does not look likely. So because of those reasons, I don't think Aston Martin will enter F1 as a manufacturer. And I think they're just going to be a title sponsor for Red Bull for at least a few years. Because I actually don't think Aston Martin can afford to enter F1 right now. But one thing I do want to talk about before I end this video is some of the teams going back on a couple things for the 2021 rules. It seems to me the reason they've gone back on a couple things is because they're concerned that no one new is going to enter. And if the main purpose of these rules is to bring in new manufacturers, then I'd have to say I do agree with the teams here. Because if you're going to make all of these changes for 2021 just to bring in a new manufacturer team and they don't come in, then what is the point? Especially considering that these new rules are going to cost so much money for all of the teams. Especially the companies that are going to be building these new power units. And if we are left with the same 10 teams in 2021 when the rules have changed, then it's going to feel like a bit of a waste of time. So hopefully we do get a new manufacturer entering F1. Because no matter what you think of the show ultimately in this sport, new teams that could win races coming into F1 is the best possible thing. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, tomorrow I will be back with a new video at the same time. And don't forget to join the Chazza HD community over on Discord. The link is down in the description. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what manufacturers do you see entering F1 in the future. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time, it's been me Chazza HD. Goodbye.